Hello, welcome to actual play, Burning Wheel, the shoeless peasant. Uh, I'm Sean Nittner, I use he and pronouns. I'll be playing Bina Janos, uh, the titular peasant. Um, before we get started, uh, actually, well, first, why don't I, how about you, Judd? How, <laughs> you wanna introduce yourself? <laughs> My name is Judd, he, him. Uh, I'm lucky enough to, to GM this game with, with Sean and uh burning wheel and uh yeah good do your thing sean get get it yeah get it going. yeah uh anywho uh before we get started with the stream um how, how, howdy cory um uh i wanted to make a channel announcement which is that um all of the uh uh all of the proceeds from uh actual play are going to uh, be going to Black Lives Matter um, and we'll be sending them there and we encourage folks to donate to um, the uh, uh, to donate to, to their funds whatever you know you have at your at your disposal and take actions you have um, and that was sort of the plan for the stream um, and then today uh, things you know uh, get even worse and so i think we have to affirm black lives matter and trans lives matter um so uh we put a donate link in chat um and there we go i think it's sent out um yeah if you like what we're doing please support those folks if you hate what we're doing please support those folks if you feel indifferent about what we're doing please support those folks because the quality of our show has speaks nothing to uh the value of human life uh, which has been, um, yeah, sadly uh, undervalued forever. But um, let's see if we can do anything to make that make that any better. So um, we'll have this banner floating up on all the shows um, as a reminder. And we thank everybody who uh, is is willing to help out and can support in a myriad of ways. Donating is one. Um, activism is another. Retweeting uh, folks. There's plenty of ways to tell about so thank you for however you do it yeah so sorry cool so did you want to say anything it, before we dive into uh, uh no yeah, it, i i gamed i mean I'm gaming with you tonight and i gamed with strash and lauren last saturday and it feels really weird doing the things that you love right now uh yeah. Yeah, that's all, especially in public. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad you, you. I'm glad you said something. I'm glad those links are there. Uh, let's let's play a game. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's make some beautiful things. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's return to Karakagi, um, the the hub of the wheel. Um, I ended up doing a bunch of research, which I've mostly now forgotten, but uh, after last session, I ended up uh, spending a lot of time uh, uh, looking at YouTube videos of wheelwrights and how wheels are actually made, uh, you know, contemporary, how, how contemporary wheels might have been made and what can be repaired and what can't, uh, you know, what are, I mean, effectively everything can be repaired except for the hub. If the hub fails, the wheel cannot be remade. So, That's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's it's the one part of the wheel that isn't, at least according to some of the videos, uh, isn't isn't trivial to to replace. Uh, anywho, let's. I'm gonna pull up Bina's sheet um, for everybody, and we'll go over her beliefs. Um, cool. They almost all changed from they did it. They did all change from last week uh, because they all of her beliefs from last week were um, or from last session rather were either completed or are no longer available. Um, you know, convincing boss or, or failed rather, you know, convincing boss to say, nope, didn't do it. Um, so uh, yeah, so my new, let's see if I have the old ones. Um, uh, Phoenix got word that the Duchess Botond was going to be arriving soon. Um, and as well that uh, with her permission, with um, if she if she granted it, we could travel to Duke and Shield. Um, so that's what's on Venus' mind right now. 
um, and her beliefs are that Pap won't abandon his post because of his duty, uh, but he may for love. I'll get Varus to aid me in moving out. Uh, Dread, you dropped a little tidbit last time. You're like, yeah, yeah, old Novak gives you some gossip. There's yeah. some stuff about Varus and Pap they've got together. Um, uh, and uh, I think you are f- flavoring the world. But I, yeah, yeah. I like, uh, I like how you I, used it. That was I awesome. listened to it and I was like, yeah, I know Varus. And, uh, yeah. Uh, she was in the very first episode. So, uh, the second one is Duchess uh, Varga uh, Clandia Botund is the only one who can grant us permission to flee. I'll convince her to send the people of Karakog to safety. That's going to be a bold one. And then the third one is the time uh, for bandages over my eye. Um, the time for bandages are over and my eye needs a decent covering. I'll find a scrap of leather from a tanner and uh, make a suitable patch for it and match a suitable patch for it. Um, yeah that's kind of a more small scale personal material goal but um i don't know fina's been wearing a bandage for a month now time to time to put it on a patch yeah um and then her instincts uh i changed the first one which was about arriving in karakagi because she's arrived now and she played it and i changed it to uh one of the presence of nobility listen carefully so See how, see if the eavesdropping gets me in trouble. Uh, yeah, so there is that. Last last time the big excitement for Vina was that she un- opened up Persuasion. So nice. She now has Persuasion at B2. Um, and, she uh, is a legit persuader. She's a legit persuader. I can get into a dole of wits and, you know, uh, and maybe hold my own. Awesome. So. Let me screenshot the beliefs so that you can move around in your character sheet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Without... Cool. So you, you have them. There you go. Sorry. Yeah, my, that's a weird thing about um, the roll twenty character sheets. Is any change that either one of us makes, including to the view, affects the other one. So if I click on yeah. one tab, it goes there for you as well. Yep. Which... <laughs> Has caused confusion when people are trying to change modes and scum and villainy between ship, crew, and uh, faction. Oh, right. And like one person's clicking and another person's clicking and another person's Yeah. It's good times. Awesome. We'll have to nerd out a little bit about uh, scum and villainy because I've got uh, a game coming up. Oh, I mean, very cool. Friends, so I'm excited about that. Nice. Nice. Are you, are you playing that uh, in? Well, not in person, but are you streaming that, or is that? Going to be uh, no, it's a non-streaming game. Um, wow. Yeah, let's let's just let's let's let's, let's ease up a little bit. I feel like we're we're jumping into this, and and we're both like we're both pretty frazzled. So let's let's. I'm sorry, folks. We're just gonna we're gonna chill for a second. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. A, a friend of mine just graduated from law school, and uh, so I was on a Zoom call with him and his wife and his kid. And I had introduced him to him to gaming. His wife had gamed some GURPS. Uh, and a bunch of other games. She she was a gamer, but he had never played before. And uh, he's a very dramatic person. So like it, it was okay. surprising that he hadn't gamed before. And so uh, they had both they were both huge fans of uh, Game of Thrones. So I ran a Burning Wheel game set in uh, in Westeros, and they took to it like like ducks to water. So but I didn't feel like burning wheel with three people and a GM was the greatest choice over zoom. Mm. So uh, I was like, Hey, what about, you know, I've, I've really always wanted to play uh, scum and villainy. Um, and I feel like that kind of star Warsy space opera with this, with the serial numbers filed off is a pretty easy geek uh, language, right? It's just, yeah. a, it's pretty simple. So yeah, yeah we, we got going uh, and, and, yeah, they're going to be pl- they're going to be escaping from space prison their first game, and and I've made a a, a wanted poster with like a hologram looking thing in the middle of it. Uh, ah, and, very cool. So I'll, I'll I, Isotropa I Max the, uh, the 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 featured one in the in the in the setting, or you make are you no? Create? I I made one that I'll eventually like plug characters into, but uh, mm-hmm. I just put my face on it and. Uh, grabbed a like hologram filter uh off of uh this this guy this guy's uh uh affinity suite 
cool. uh, assets and uh, yeah, it's fun. It was fun to, it was fun to make. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to pew, pew, pew. That'll be a lot of fun. That'll be cool. Are you playing in Procyon sector? Are you, are you yeah. using the setting? Okay. Yeah. 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 We're, we're using, we're using the setting right out of the book. Good. Yeah. I, I, uh, I know a lot of folks are just like, cool, I'll start a game to play Star Wars with, which like, it's fine. Like you, you can, but I think the game has a lot. There's so much in the setting, like Strash and Dawn put so much loving detail into all the yeah. factions and the planets and all the things going on. And like, it's, it's, it's cool to see those uh, uh, get played. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. 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 I'm also, starting up a game with Jay. Uh, nice. I don't know what yet but we'll be starting that up. Uh, oh, nice. So. Kind of a one-on-one -on -one game? Um, I think there's, there, there's two other people that I've, um, that I've, I've, been, I'm trying to, I'm trying to game with some new, some new folks. Yeah. I'm trying to, trying to stretch out a little bit. Um, and so I've, I've uh, set out an invite to, to a couple people. It'll probably be a three, three person game, but we'll, we'll see. Cool. Now. Cool. Cool. So like a GM and two players. Yeah. So oh, awesome. Streaming. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, unless people don't want to, I, I'm I'm trying to like, hey, let's play some more. And if folks, yeah. folks are into it, we'll stream it. And if not, we'll just do it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I told I told him I'm like, hey, we should game. He's like, yeah, let's do it. And uh, he was just like on it. He was just like reply like, yes, yeah, now. So that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, so cool. Cool. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad we're both getting some good games in. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I felt like we need to warm up. Let's let's get to the game. I, I I don't know why I felt like we needed that, but I I I don't know. Totally uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm. I was I, I was reading the wind, and and that's what I read. Uh, <laughs> I figured the worst thing I I'll do is 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 uh, is is hold things up a little bit. Uh, uh, when when someone when we drop this to uh, YouTube, invariably someone will put in a comment that says like game starts at and at times and times. Right, 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 and right. Thank thank you, YouTube commenter. Who does yes. It. So, oh, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's 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 pouring rain, and yeah. the servants of Karakagi are waiting outside, um, and there are uh, there's definitely like an enhanced military presence around. And uh, and yeah, the the Duchess's entourage kind of comes through, um, and she's uh, an you know a, a, an older woman, um, you know, but uh, not in a carriage, uh, and her 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 ladies in waiting are not in carriages; uh, they are uh, on on horseback uh, with swords on their hips, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and yeah, they they you know uh, dismount and uh, you know hand their hand hand their the their tethers to the stable boys who who run them towards the stable so they can maybe get dry. And uh, she says, uh, I think yeah, um, the the Duchess. Uh, Varga Klandia Botand um, kind of looks over the like walks along the line of the of the servants like a drill sergeant would walk along a line of soldiers and says uh, is the is the head servant back from her wanderings um, I think um I think when she first arrived like when she was first coming in Bina was actually in um Bodnar's uh, room because yeah. the last thing at the end of the last session, Pap decided to prepare Bodnar's room. Right. Um, right. So I think that probably she came running down like when she saw her out the window. I think her first vision, like her sight, was like out the out out the window, the same one that you know she opened to get Bodnar some air uh, a month ago. And yeah, I think she comes down and is probably just arriving like just getting there she's um she's barefoot and she's uh yeah i think she she sort of uh, I, I envision the scene where like as she's kind of like doing the drill sergeant walk Bina like shows up right as she would get to her spot right you know and she's like sort right. of walking past everybody i think Bina like just kind of is like there and um and is a little surprised that she knew about her at all so yeah kind of like almost like kind of uh, 
like chokes a little like <clears throat> like like yeah, out of surprise and and says uh I, I guess i guess Vina is the head servant right that's that's not that's not a new thing or is that like a new station for her um I don't think you ever really thought about it that hierarchically, you know? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was just, I was just a servant. I wasn't thinking of myself as a head servant. Yeah. Um, so, but I'm assuming she has to be talking about me. So I'm like, uh, <laughs> me? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, yes, I've, I've returned. Good. Uh, get, get my retinue settled in. And then uh, I assume Bodnar's room is uh, is set up. I prepared it. There's flowers to cover the smell. Wonderful. Uh, I will be up there, recovering from the journey. Once everyone is settled in, come up with a hot drink of some kind, and we will discuss how we're moving forward. And uh, I'm assuming bowing is kind of like the normal sure. sign of respect. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Bina does the kind of servants, you know, um, bow. Oh, shit. You know what? We could do a, uh, we could do an etiquette roll. Oh, yeah. That's a skill she doesn't have. There there's we go. A, there's, a, there's a thing for that. There's a skill uh, for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That checks out. So uh, Judd and I were talking about like what happens when when we need to look something up, which is great to do at the table. It's less great to do um, at, uh, it's less good to do on stream, but we're gonna yeah. do it anyway. It's page 271. I've, I've, I've got it. Yep, yep, I got oh, it. Yeah, uh, cool. yeah, so she's a, she's a ducal lord. Uh, she's yeah. a duchess. So it's ob three and then doubled, that's ob six. All right, and this is a uh, this is based in will slash perception. Right, So right. I think I could, it doesn't, matter i can roll either one but okay um all right uh so we're gonna go we're gonna say um skills being learned is this everyone saying this yep 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 and etiquette that's that makes total sense yeah it's it's one of those skill things where like you're like Gosh darn it, burning wheel. Like, like, uh, um, burning wheel is just so many skills. And like, especially as like a peasant life path, being I just had so few skill points. I'm like, of course I should know this, but like, no, I didn't. Cause I just did whatever Bodnar did. I didn't know official etiquette. I didn't know like courtliness or anything like that. So, right. Yeah, Bina is 100% guessing at this. Or, not so much guessing is trying to remember what she's heard from other people. Right. You know, remember what she's heard for. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this, um, and there's uh, let's see, my spend persona on this. Am I gonna do this carefully? Um, I think I'm gonna do this carefully because I have an instinct that says when I have a new instinct. That says uh, one in the presence of nobility. Listen carefully, and um, I think I'm. A, I, I, how, how do you how do you pour out? A, no, I can't do it carefully because I'm just bowing. It's just a small gesture. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Not not doing it carefully. Um, so no modifiers. No art. Uh, base of is three. I think uh, this will double it for me. If I remember correctly. Yes. There we go. So it it did in fact double it. Um, and uh, that actually is because, thank you, Roll20, uh, it's actually not an etiquette test for me, or not a beginner's like etiquette test. It's a, it turns into a will uh, test because it was difficult to begin with. Great. Uh, I'll mark that as a will test. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing. What happens? Um, I, mean, I, I bow. Yeah. Um... Like, I think, like, you you probably bow like you would have bowed to Bodnar, you know, which, which yeah. and he wasn't very big on etiquette. Uh, and I think you see, like, a ripple of reaction go through her retinue. And uh, um, 
one of her ladies in waiting like steps up like as if as if you've you know as if you've done something that that needs a beating you know and wow. uh i think I, th I think the duchess like holds her back like says like like goes like like hold like just holds her back with a gesture and like nods to your feet and she like looks down and kind of pales and she says she didn't know this isn't an insult yeah bina mm -hmm. looks mortified like bina it Right. Yeah, Vina's looking at her feet too. I mean, they're they, she wore boots on the way here, but I'm sure by now they're already with all this rain and whatnot, they're already covered in mud. Right. But like you 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 specifically told me that you you were uh, you were barefoot. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I mean she she wore boots to like to get here, to get here from the door of host. But since she's been at the keep, she's taken she took them off. Like she's right. been she's been walking out the keep barefoot because that's what is most familiar to her. She knows all right. the nooks and crannies of it. Right, um, right, right. So yeah, by but, now I'm assuming her feet are covered in mud from all the rain and whatnot. Right. Um yeah, I think uh she says, and since you were so quick to to uh since you were so quick to defend my honor, you'll be the one to teach her. And like you see, like she not she like curtsies and says, Yes, Duchess. Yes, Your Grace, she says. She's like, come on, let's get out of the rain. And, uh, and, uh, and, you know, she says to one of, you know, she barks some orders to some of her knights to, you know, uh, talk to the squires and then come up with, come up and talk to her about it. And, yeah. uh, and then she's like gone in a flurry and there's like half a dozen um, of a retinue that go with her. And, uh, and, you know, you and, I mean, I feel like the, the servants is probably like a couple of kids from town who deal yeah. with the horses. Right. And, uh, you and who's the old woman, Nara? Uh, old, old Novak. Old Novak. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, I think I, um, I think I should. Uh, back this up a little bit and see if I can have more people here. Can I make a circles right. roll to have a few more people from down here? Because we knew they were coming. Like this is certainly cool. Um, and I don't. I think that like normally there's only a couple servants because there's just Pat, Dudas, and um, and Bodnar. Like right. there's literally three people who were not servants in this yeah. keep. So we didn't. She's she's got a huge retinue. Yeah, I think. Um, oh. I specifically want to circle up Boris if cool. I can. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I think I think and you know, she's, that, yeah, he's around. And I, yeah, and I think you know that Varus has like a bunch of siblings too. So if you get her, you'll Perfect. get all of them. You know, nice, nice, uh, yeah. cool. All right, so, so let's yeah, circles. Circle draw. Yeah, so um, base off is one. Yep. Um, and same station or rank? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, or is she a higher station because you're a, like, no, I'm going to say it's same. I'm going to say it's same. Uh, she was if, like the daughter of a uh, Smith or something like that. Like, I don't right. think she had like if, a. If, if you had like just been captured and brought to town yesterday, I think sure. there's an argument that like she has a higher rank than you because she's actually from here. But sure. I feel like you've married and. and yeah. Married. Yeah. I've been here for years. You've been assimilated. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, disposition or knowledge common to the circle. Yeah. Um, right here, right now in the middle of trouble. Not really. Um, unusual for this character. I'm going to say it's op two. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I have a B2 circles. So that, that, that's how, that's how that works. Right. You just roll. Right. You always, you always roll it like at least your your total. Um, do I want to spend? Do you have any? Do you have any? Uh, any reputation? Any? I have no reputation. I have no um, affiliations. Okay. Uh, but thank you for asking. Um, yep. <laughs> I don't think I can do this carefully because I. Um, I don't think I can do this carefully because I. Uh, we know it have to, yeah, time is a factor. 
Yeah. Um, but I do think I can ask old Novak for help um, and ask her to help me wrap yeah. up people and just totally. Like, yeah. We're going to be she'll overwhelmed. Give, she'll give you a bonus diet. Not a problem. Awesome. Cool. I will take that. All right. One modifier. I want to set up pop two. Yes. Bring it home. Success. Success. Not only success, I cool. got over it. I don't think that matters. I got three successes on three dice. That's that's how you do. That's fantastic. Um yeah, so cool. So yeah, I've got Varus and her siblings um there to help. And I mean they're not trained, but I think I'm going to it's they've certainly been around. Everyone's been to this tower, this tower. It's not like it's like separated by much yeah. and especially since the word of the of the elves coming everyone's been inside the walls so yeah um yeah i think i've got her and and i i um yeah and i say uh you you heard her let's all take care let's all get get these people settled in we're gonna have to use yeah. every nook and cranny that we have to find to find them rooms so cool uh, awesome. So uh, I think you, you've got people. I just want you to make an ob one lazy wise roll just to see if you can like catch. She has a couple of sisters who are just going to try to like, yeah, you know, uh, uh, like stare at the at the outsiders and, and the, 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 the noble folk. Yeah. Um, so let's just see if you can like catch their bullshit. If I, if I can catch the bullshit. Um, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to fucking work wise if I can, because I know yep. what they should they should be doing. Yep. All right. Um, and there's another one. Don't you have peasant wise or something? I do have peasant wise. Yeah. Yeah. You can yeah. you can fork that one in too. Fantastic. I will. Look at Bina and having all all the skills right now. This is her. Uh, this is her Aristia moment. This is... Yeah. All right. I needed all those forks. I got it. Cool. Yeah. yeah I think like a couple of the of the Smith kids um, are. Uh, are like hanging out with the with the stable stable boys, and and you know just looking at the big pretty war horses, and uh, and like you catch them and like grab them and and get them back to work, get them doing what they're supposed to be doing. Nice, yeah. And, I know, uh, I know. I mean, since it's since it's been the 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 the, the sort of the uh, the 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 gossip around town that Varus is um, that Varus is crushing or flirting with Pop. Is she is she one that I have to kind of direct as no, well? No, I think she's older and, okay. and she wants to have a good show of it. So she's 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 doing stuff. Okay, cool. Um, cool. And I think uh, I have there's a, a relationship um, I'm going to put it in being learned, even though it's not a being learned, but it, it yeah. works like being learned is a relationship with Varus. Every time you circle them, um, it's uh, once you've done them, you know, your 10 minus your will exponent, they become a relationship. So cool. not that I think she necessarily will be, but hey, if I circle her up five more times. Um, you never know. Who knows? Who knows? I, I unlocked... Persuasion, anything can happen. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So I think this is probably, um, you know, I watched um, Down Abbey, um, the movie, uh, not that long ago with my kids, and uh, I hadn't seen the show in ages, but they really wanted to see the movie, and we watched it. Um, and the 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 king is arriving, the, the, the nobility is arriving, and they all just sort of like losing their minds trying to get everything. And I feel like it's a little like that. Like everyone's kind of running around the hallways and people are carrying sacks of food and they're just sort of like chaos. And primarily what Bina's doing right now is trying to just manage that chaos, just trying to like keep everybody pointed in the right direction and, and yeah. um, making sure that nobody that's really important is left standing outside in the rain. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I'm going to bring up some hot cider on uh, to uh the duchess cool yes are you are you shooed or unshooed i'm unshooed yeah shod 
Un un cool. Unshod. Yeah, I think I think the the um the her 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 boots are tucked into you know like the equivalent of um like the locker room like like I think you know the servants all have like their personal items where they like put their lunch or whatnot for the you know um and so they yeah they're tucked away. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I, I can see a reason why having that would be would be important, though. Um, yeah. I, I I don't I don't I don't, I, I think uh, if 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 needed, I can run and get them. I think I'm gonna... okay. Cool. So yeah, I, I think I show up and I've got and and, and true true to what I said, I think uh, being to put a bunch of flowers in the room because you know. Someone died in there. It was a while ago, but um, it's 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 been kind of, it's been unused since there. It's probably got probably had mildewy smell, and so she tried to liven it up, open up all the windows, and yeah. get some flowers in there. And uh, so she makes sure to like bring like a like a potent smelling drink as well, something that's got like a rich flavor, a rich you know flavor to it, whatever. Yeah. Whatever we have. Cool. Uh, yeah, you walk in and. Uh and the the duchess takes a cider and like one of her, her retinue kind of like looks to her and she says i'm going to want some time with miss bina to myself um i want you all to under to walk around the keep walk around the tower and uh get the lay of the place if we have to leave in the middle of the night i don't want any of you getting lost on the way to the horses so Know your way down the stairs, know your way in the dark, know your way to the stables, know where your horses are. Go. And uh, I think like her retinue kind of like, you know, kind of staring at you a little bit uh, yeah. you know, at this new place. Um, how, big pretty... her, how big is her retinue? And are these... um, I would say she she travels with like six young women. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and as, her, are... like, as her like ladies in waiting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think I tell them like, um, you know, watch the, uh, watch the railing on the stairs. It's collapsed a few times and been rebuilt. Um, you know, some, some sort of like, uh, useful tidbit for getting around the, getting around the tower. Cool. And the, the eldest of them, I think is the one who is going to step to you. And, uh, she's the one, um, who, uh, reminds the five others, like, Let's not forget our swords. And I think they just have like short swords, right? Like they mm -hmm. just have like a, I mean, it's it's practically a big dagger. But yeah. uh, she's like, we're in the middle of a war zone, ladies. And they, uh, like looking embarrassed, they all kind of go to their, go to the table where the, where the swords are and like, uh, and, and you know, put them on, put them on their riding dresses, on their belts and, yeah. uh, and then head, head downstairs. And, uh, yeah, the the Duchess is, uh, I think, kind of like a, a tall, formidable woman. Um, her sword is like leaning against like a bedpost, uh, where it still would be easy to get to, but it's not on her hip anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, she uh, puts the ladle in like the trough for the cider and like pours one for you. And like, there's a, a table that that Bowton never used in the room, and the it was clearly like put together uh, so that people could sit. And and uh, she says, uh, "Why don't you sit with me for a bit and share some cider? I'm sure you've been running around quite a bit in the last twelve hours." Uh, I think that's probably pretty true. I think being is probably you know, not like heaving or anything like that, but a little winded from running around. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, Botan never shared his drink. Like Botan never had this kind of familiarity with Bina. Um, yeah. So, and the dwarves did, but that was the dwarves. They don't, they're not, you know, she didn't know any, they could have done anything. And, 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 and she wouldn't know what, uh, the standards were, but she knows this isn't the standard. 
And she also knows that like when she tried to bow, she created some offense. So she's a little leery and she's like, uh, are you? I'm not testing you. We won't do things like this in public in the, in the feast hall, but in my own rooms in private, we can put aside uh, the differences of our births and we can have a talk. Thank you. And, and she's like, thank you. And then still remembers though, because it's important, your grace. And uh... good, you're a fast learner. Uh, when you have time, Elsie, my niece and the head of my the head of my of my ladies will be teaching you uh, etiquette. I think it's something important for you to know. <laughs> I, thank you again. Uh, I, I, I value any instruction I can gather. I, I feel like I'm that, that, that I'm missing some. I'm missing the reason why that would be important, and and maybe there's information I have to share. So maybe this will all make sense once we've once we've talked. Like she she doesn't know why the Duchess would want her to learn etiquette, but also is like. I don't know what your plan is, so let's you know let's let's figure it out. She's not opposed to 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 the idea, and she's yeah. and then, but she does she like just has to know like but she's like but bowing is an affront. I should know that. No, the way you bowed was an affront. Oh, I your didn't technique know there were multiple is, ways. your technique is not good. I mean, it's not it's not existent. Um, oh, okay. Well, good, good, good to know. I'll, I'll learn the right way. And my late nephew kept you unshod? Oh, uh, there was never any need for shoes in the keep. <laughs> I, I've acquired a pair, though. Um, but honestly, here, I know all the floorboards, like the bottom of my foot I don't think that's a saying uh, I know I know the the way very well so honestly I'm, I'm more used to you here barefoot should we hit the road though I have a fine pair of boots uh, there's a story behind them too and I heard that you left the tower for a while with uh, a hunter of some kind uh, I left for a month a man named boss he escorted me to the north what did you hope to accomplish there? Um, she's kind of like sizing her up. Like, do I give her the whole spiel? Um, naively, I thought I could stop the war. Let me take that back. Naively, I thought I could find someone who could stop the war. And then I realized no one was going to do it. And then I tried myself and I failed. Hmm. How did you go about trying to stop the war. I think this is the first time Bina sits because she like pulled up the table and Bina had been standing yeah. the whole time. And I think Bina finally sits down and like puts both hands around the, above hands around the mug of, of cider and like like breathes in the warmth. And, and it like, it's cold and wet outside. And I think it kind of gets into her bones. And um, she says, um, I'm happy to tell you all that I know would it be permissible for me to make a request of you as well? Of course. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you what I know and then you can see whether you think this request is, is reasonable. And um, yeah, I think she says, uh, Voss the hunter who escorted me, he was the first one who, who saw the elves, who saw the signs of them. And, um, uh, And while I was tending to your your nephew, um, and I kind of, she sort of like looks over at the bed where he died. She said, "I met an elf, and I think he she might be sitting in the seat he was in." Right. His name was Fiona Cecile, which means 
a knife in the starless night. They do like dramatic names, these elves. And I asked him why the elves were coming. And he told me that the Etharch, which is their leader, was wronged by the dwarves, that they had done something to her and that they had taken something and not given it back. And I recalled to him the song of the soldier's lament of 70 years ago when the war of, the, of man and elves and dwarves came to Karakage and the tower fell. And he informed me that elves do not speak of songs, they sing them. And I failed to sing it for him properly. And he took my eye. And then I knew just how terrifying these elves were. I had never met one before, but now I can say with no uh, aspersions of a flight or fantasy that they are um, the most terrifying creatures to behold when they are filled with wrath. And I thought, if that's what one grief-ridden elf would do, what would an entire army? So I went north and tried to find the Dwarven host, and I found them by hook or crook, and I asked them to return what they had taken, the star that would have been given to the console. Hmm. And how did, how did you know that? I met another elf on my way. My oh, goodness. Eogdalen, the fell nightingale. And she told me that the consort had gone to the dwarves and he had come with the star to lead him home. Um, the elven consort. And when uh, after a night of drinking and taunting and boasting, the consort and Prince Bulat's brother went into the vault, which is the place that many years ago, Prince Bulat and the other, uh, uh, and, and the dwarves sealed the dragon. I know this is starting to sound like a fairy tale, but I'm sure uh, you've heard some of these stories. Uh, the consort did not return, neither did the prince's brother. They probably were both slain by the dragon. Mm. I asked the prince to think about the wisdom of going to war over a mistake, over a boast. Uh, however, he had responsibilities to his people, as I'm sure you do, and could not back down easily. And I did not convince a, pro provide a convincing enough argument. It's one of the many things I could use more training. Um, however, he appreciated the gesture for what it was. And he gifted me the finest pair of boots I think I will ever know. They bear his seal. And yet you don't wear them when you're working. That's interesting. Perhaps I wasn't sure I was ready to tell you everything. And maybe I told you too much already. Mm. But I was afraid, not knowing who you were, you might see them as ostentatious. My nephew, rest his soul, he took you when he lit fire to a village during the ducal feuds. Is that correct? Yes. Hmm. It was tradition back when the feuding was much more prevalent when you took thralls, as they were called. Back in olden times, you did not give them shoes so that they could not run away. 
there's no need for you to continue with that tradition. I don't think you're going to be running away from your family and your friends here. If you, through your cunning and your intelligence, won a pair of dwarven boots, I think you should wear them. Thank you. And you're right, I'm not planning to run away. But now I come to my request for you, which I'm not sure what your hope to, I don't know, I'm not sure what you have in mind for Karakadmi, but I can tell you seven years ago when the tower was dwarven made, it did not stand the wrath of the elves and the dwarves. These walls are so low, my daughter can climb to the top of them almost in places. If we stay here, when the hosts meet, we'll all perish. I would like permission from you to have Squire Pap lead us to Duke and Shield so that the people here who are not warriors, who are not soldiers, who are just cartwrights and smiths and weavers and servants don't die needlessly. Mm. I need to show you why I can't do that. In order to do that, I have to take out a map. Um, let's look. I think she like lays out a map exactly like the map that we have, uh, nice. you know, and, and uh, she says, uh, as you can see, uh, the thousand duchies are laid out and the roads of it are laid out very much like the, the, the hubs of the burning wheel. Uh, five main roads with Karakage at the center. Now it is true because of rivers, because of time, because of the way things have changed over since Karakage was founded almost 2000 years ago, that Karakage is not the center of commerce like it once was, but it is still very important. And because our religion is founded upon a wheel, the hub is a holy place. It is said that all of the archmages who successfully took the burning wheel down from the mountain were born in Karakage. And that makes it important. So I need to hold it. It is an important family asset. It is part something that my mother and her father and her father's mother and her mother's mother's mother handed to them. And I am not going to be the link in the chain that loses it. And if we were to send you away, you are the face of this tower, more than my son ever, more than my nephew ever was. You are the head servant. I need you here, I need you inspiring stability and peace. As to the elves and the dwarves, I will be sending delegations to speak to them, not doomed knights like from your song, but actual delegations, armed, safe, not running out in the middle of war, but under flags of truce but I'm afraid you aren't going anywhere. Pina, Manos, Janos. Pina is pretty, I mean, she's, 
she wasn't exactly expecting to just be able to ask uh, a duchess like for a favor and have her say sure thing but she was also not expecting that answer and not expecting to be compelled by that answer right she's expecting (laughs) like no you can't go because i said so right right, right. because i need you to feed me ale right yeah yeah, yeah. like no there's really important reasons yeah and when she says every archmage that took the wheel from from above, Venus starts thinking about her daughter yeah. and Nara and all these weird things she's been hearing about Nara and, uh, you know, about her um, being born under, under twilight. And if Bina flees, if Bina stays, then she could talk to the wizard Rasmus when he arrives and ask him more. But if she flees, she won't be able to. And yeah, so I think she's like, surprisingly um she she she's yeah she's she is surprised by the way by the weight that these words have on her cool and um so yeah i don't think she protests more but uh, that's interesting i did not like construct that to uh sway you uh i just like was thinking of like why she would want to stay there yeah, and, uh, yeah, but it it's it, it yeah no I mean it it, is, it didn't feel like it was manipulated but it 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 it, it rings true for being in a way that I wasn't expecting and she wasn't expecting. Cool. Um, so yeah, so I think she says, um, I I believe you and I believe that's true. Thank you for sharing that with me. Um. I still don't want her to be here to die for no reason. I'm probably overstepping, but would you consider sending me on one of those delegations? I mean, as part of, because to my knowledge, the Atharic has not heard all that I know. And I think if I tell her myself rather than convey it through a series of communications, it may have more hold. Hmm. I I foresee a, so I foresee, uh, 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 an outcome where the elves and the dwarves band together to go to the vault to rescue their respective beloved or recover their their remains should that be the case and i foresee a possibility where they do so in unison rather than i think this is a duel of wits i think we're we're on oh to, really yeah, wow, yeah, yeah cool okay um then i'm gonna I'm gonna I'm shut up i'm gonna back that up a second and yeah and and just say yeah. i want to go yeah um i don't I think so. I think Bina is pretty good at, at reading nobles, and I think like she knows she has to convince her. Um, she's not dead against it. She's just kind of not into it. You know what I mean? Like you, mm-hmm. you don't feel like you're like changing her mind. It's just like a, a no, and this isn't very important to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's the kind of like vibe you're getting. Like, sure. you're, like she's not like sitting up and being like, "This is the argument of my life." She's like, "This is a conversation with a servant." Whereas, like, you are having the argument of your life. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it's, so it's. I just wanted to like make that clear that it's very different, and and her so her tactics might be, might reflect that. Right. That makes sense. Uh. Cool. Let's let's script. Yeah. Uh, no, we first we develop body of argument. Oh, the body body of argument. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. All, all good. We haven't done it in a bit. Yeah. Um, um, I, yeah. I, I think she says I'm not sure that you going uh, before the ethical court would be appropriate. I think like that's her whole body yeah. of argument. Yeah. And I and I. Uh, and mine is that um, I'm the only person who is who has spoken to the dwarves and who knows the story, and I, I can't. I'm the be- the best person to relay it to her. 
Um, so I have a trait that we voted on last time yeah. called stubborn. Awesome. Um, and it says plus two to body argument when it contravenes one of uh, your beliefs. Yeah. Now, my belief was uh, convincing her to send the people to safety. So I don't know if this applies because I was expecting to be arguing with her about please let me go. Right. So, so I'm let's... killing myself, but I, I feel like I can't ar- ar- say that. I feel like I'd have to rewrite this belief a little bit to really say it. So I only say, like, normally I wouldn't, I think it would be super cheating to be like, you know, it no longer fits my belief. Um, I, I'm now going to rewrite my belief so I can get those dice. But it just so happens, as soon as you said, like, oh, that's really compelling, I'm moved by that. Um, I, I almost said, like, well, maybe we should rewrite your belief. So maybe we should rewrite your belief. I mean, normally I wouldn't let you like do it on the fly like that. But right right now, I think in a one-on-one game, it's not totally like an unfair thing and I'm totally cool with it. Cool. I, that's, that makes a lot of sense to me. And that sounds great. And I'm going to change it. Yeah, no. Um, This is pretty high-minded, but and it might get real refined, but the Duchess has convinced me to stay in Karakagi. I'll ensure our safety by speaking to the Elven Etharch. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Okay, so let's roll our our um, dueling skills. I'm yeah. gonna roll persuasion. Yeah, because I have it, and it's what I'm doing. Yep. Um, and uh, you can't fork in um, BOAs. Uh, right. I believe so. I'm just gonna roll that and add it to my will. Come on. Roll skill. There we go. On fire tonight. I got two sixes on two dice. Nice. I'm going to roll down. I'm spending a fate to explode them. Damn right you are. And I got another six. All right. That's three successes. Uh Uh-huh. And... That's three successes. Um, you rolled that which, six again, right? Uh, I did. It, 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 I did. I said roll two d six exploding. So I rolled a six and a two, and then I rolled a three. So got it. Got it. it. it so uh, that three successes adds to my will, which is four. So that's seven, and then stubborn adds two more. So my boa is nine. Wow. 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 Cool. Um. She got one success, uh, and it adds to her will. So she her 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 body of argument is a six. Okay. All right. Uh, so now we're gonna script, and I, uh, I I I want to pick a thing that I think is right. And should we put uh, our our uh, script in the in the chat, and then we'll hit enter at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. All right, 
right, I'm ready to go. Cool. Cool. Uh, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Uh, cool. So her first is avoid the topic. Yes. That's exactly what I thought she was going to do. I didn't see yours. I didn't see yours. Um, I put it in the actual chat of the, like in the, in the, in the Twitch. Oh, 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 I put mine in, in roll 20. Check that. Put it in roll got 20 it. as well so we have the record of it. But yeah. Got it, got it. I'll, I'll put it in the, cool. Wow, you're starting with dismiss. Yes, because I thought nice. she was going to avoid the topic and avoid doesn't work on dismiss. Nice. Do it. And I had, and I had a reason to be incited. Um, uh, yeah, when she seems nonplussed, I, 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 I push the cider that's like half drunk away and I stand up and I say, so I came here to give you everything I could to give you all the knowledge I could. I told you of the many times that I almost died trying to stop this war and you treated me like your equal. You treated me like someone who you would listen to so long as it served you, so long as it served your interests. But right now when I'm telling you to your face that the elves will take, the elves will hide in a chair that you walk right by that you'll not even see and they'll take your eye, they'll sit in the same chair you're in right now. You won't realize the importance of sending someone who has seen all this, you need to. You need to, not for me, you need to, and not even for, for yourself, you need to for the people of Karakagi. And she's upset. Yeah, like Make that roll. Yeah. Uh, I'm rolling uh, four dice, yeah? Yeah, I'm rolling persuasion plus two. And um, damn, I wish I could four consuming platitudes, but I'm just absolutely not. <laughs> you are not. I'm not. There's nothing soothing about There's that. There's nothing soothing at all. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, I think. I think I am gonna. I think I'm gonna add a little twinge to it though, and just like I am sure you have heard the deadliness of 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 um, of these elves. If they decide that 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 you are a threat to them, um, you, you'll wake up. You'll wake up with their with. Their, their knives to your throat. And I'm gonna bring in gossip wise. Cause I think I've been talking about all like the the, the, the fear of how deadly these elves are. And I think cool. she's gotta have heard at least some stories yeah. of the Ogdalin or the thing. Uh, but I think that's it. I don't really feel like I can. Nope, I don't think, I, I think that's it. Okay. okay. Um, I'm gonna spend a persona. Actually, she's gonna nothing. Do it. Yeah, I'm just better for something. Okay. Persuasion. Come on, die roller. Okay. Modifiers. Two from dismiss, one from gossip lives. So it's three. Artha one. Base law one. Yes! What'd you get? What'd you get? Got five successes. Oh my god. One of them was a six. I'm roll that, that six. <laughs> oh my god. Six successes. First shot out of the game. It's like it's like it's like Prince Bulat all over again, but in reverse. Oh my god. That was her like kill the dragon moment. Like that's incredible. <laughs> oh my lord. I think she knocks the I think in just like she's like so upset. She's trying not to be rude, but she's so upset when she does when she when she pushes it forward that she like knocks the cider over and it spills yeah. out, you know, dark liquid on the ground above the bloody spot where she, you know she woke up with her face bleeding onto the ground below. Yeah. Um I think, and she's uh, just like sitting there, like like full of like rage. Like she thought this woman had confidence in her, or was yeah, like yeah, being yeah. respectful to her, and then like, oh no, she's just dismissing me. So, 
The Duchess smiles and says, uh, yes, I think you're right. I, uh, I think sending you to be a good idea. Why don't you go downstairs and have one of the village girls, one of those Smith's daughters you got rounded up, come and clean up this mess. Seems that while we were talking, some cider spilled. And I think she like gets up and, uh, and like gives like, the way she's breathing or the way she like gets up and sighs is like, this is over, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and I think like, oh, so did, does Bina like turn to leave? Yeah, I mean, I think Bina's like a little amazed both that the Duchess agreed, but also in herself. Like she's a little like, just like surprised that that all yeah. came out. And yeah. so she's like, it's just, like her incline, her her gut inclination. The thing that she is trying to fight right now is resistance to clean up the cider, to clean up the mess. Yeah. Like that's what she yeah. would do. Like that's her yeah, yeah. role. She's and, got and a I rag think, in her they, in her waistband to like wipe and, up. And, and I think Duchess Varga like senses that, but like doesn't want you to sully this moment. Like she realizes that she just got outmaneuvered by like a rural servant. Yeah, and is like taking that in and kind of like. You know, you learn a lot about someone by how they lose. And she loses well, especially in private, right? Yeah. And I think at what when you're at the door, she says, Bina, this kind of outburst will never happen in public. Do we understand each other? Of course. Of course. And like she kind of like calms down and she's like, um, What was the name of her eldest, Elise? Uh, Elsie. Elsie. She's like, I'm, I'm sure Elsie will tell me all the ways that I, that are fitting for me to speak to you. Elsie will, Elsie will, Elsie's lessons will not. And she's not meaning that like cattle. She's not, she's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's not I meaning she, that like. I think she says like, Books of etiquette don't have moments like this in them because we are a bit outside the bounds right now. Sitting down and talking to the head servant woman to woman is something that my mother taught me, but not many, do, not many at the ducal rank do this. And they don't do it for exactly this reason, but I think sending you is the right move. Anyway, send one of those girls. And when I am putting together the delegations, I will call you. Thank you, Your Grace. And for what it's worth, I'm glad your mother taught you what she did. This isn't in the books, but maybe it should be. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, you'll break fast with Elsie uh, apart from the rest of us so that she can begin her lessons. Thank you. And oh, is there a young lady? What's her name? I hear she has a nice singing voice. Oh, Varus, yes. Could you send her up to do this cleaning, please? Sure, certainly. Thank you. And like, she knows that there's a reason that she's bringing Varus. She's probably her, she seems much more informed than Mina expected that she would be. Yeah. You know, she knew Mina's full name. She knew all these details. So she's almost certain that Varus, she knows that Varus and Pap have a thing. Yeah. Um, so I think when she finds Varus, she's like, um, she has been giving out orders earlier already to her right. and her siblings but like she's a little nervous in doing it now like yeah. earlier there was no like weight there was no like pressure behind it now it's like don't fuck this up um so she's like you know she finds Varus and she's like Varus uh, I need you to go to the lord's chambers to, to clean up a mess and um I don't know she kind of wants to bestow some sort of guidance to her yeah 
Um, yeah, I think she says. Do you want to make like a noble wise roll to like start opening that up? Yeah. In your, in your yeah. advice to her? Yeah. Cool. I have, I started night wise earlier when I was trying to get to know Bodhar. Yeah. Um, I don't, I, I'm guessing that won't. Uh, it yeah. won't, no. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's add up. Let's add noble wise. And that's perception based. All right, what's the... Um, um, I think it's it's ob one, but it's doubled, so it's ob two. Ob two, okay. Um, I'm, I'm gonna spend some time with it uh, in so much as that I'm going to tell her, uh, I'm gonna walk with her and like basically be with her until like the moment she enters the door, um, trying to just like piece together everything I know about her. So I'm gonna do this carefully. Cool. And like, I'm just trying to like get an idea of what the effect you're trying to have is so I can like say what the failure uh, yeah. result would be. So my concern is that um, the uh, Duchess is going to ask her about her relationship with Pap and that she's going to lie about it. And yeah. so my recommendation is that she be honest. I don't know if that's actually useful or not. And I think that's, you know, the perhaps, you know, the, the role will tell us. Um, yeah, but um, but uh, yeah, I, I want I want her to go in and um, you know I care I care about the people in this town. I don't want her. I feel like I got extremely lucky, and yeah. I feel like there's no likelihood that Varus would have the same. Like she's not going to brook foolery from too many people, too many peasants all at once. Right. The virus better go in there and be respectful and virus better be honest and not yeah. try and be too coy or anything like that. Um, cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, I'm going to make a die of fate roll. I just want to see if virus is pregnant. Okay. Cause I have no idea and it doesn't have anything to do with your beliefs. Yep. But I'm going to roll. Hey, nope. Nope. She's not. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh just curious just one of those like weird twist of fate things good yeah so this is the um this is the um yeah and i think if you fail yeah, you really fail to convey the weight of this and she's really going to go in and get ambushed by yeah. this very powerful duchess um and and you know yeah yeah because i really respect the duchess for listening to me, but I just, I can't possibly believe that she's going to be as level as like open-minded the next time a servant walks in the door. Yeah. 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 And, and cool. yeah. All right. So yeah. got it. Oh, I'm on fire tonight. You are on fire. Holy shit. Look at all these successes. All right. Yeah. Let's like, I got that right. Yeah. It doubled it. And, um, cool. Yeah, I think you you prepare her for what's what, what's about to happen, and she like like before she goes in, she nods very earnestly, and then uh, you hear the Duchess say, "Oh, pretty virus! I've heard so much about you. Come in. We've we've had a bit of a spill." Yeah, I think the 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 final moment for me is because I don't know what virus has been doing, but I like pull the rag that I was going to clean up the cider with my can to her as she's going in. Like that's like, yeah, you know, because that's yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I hear that awesome. and, I, and I make sure to, you know, be out of sight and out of out of the way, out of the Cool. Uh, that was the ballsiest duel of wits move I have ever <laughs> seen in my life. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, but, 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 you know, this was a very like uh, a woman centered couple of scenes. So I think we should say it's the eggsiest, the eggsiest yeah. uh, uh, duel of wits thing I've, I've ever seen. I, I, wow, that was awesome. That was really impressive. Very cool. Thank, thank you. Uh, I mean, I, and and I and part of it is that you telegraphed how she was like not really into this argument in the first place, and you're like, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use that. And I was like, I bet she's gonna avoid. And I was just praying you'd do it first mo move because I was hoping yeah. dismiss would get it. And also, I was looking at the way Bulat argued, which was like point point dismiss, just like gun it. And I was like, yeah. well, let's try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, awesome. Um, cool.
So um, yeah. So it's uh, we've been at it, we've been at it for about an hour. So I think we should take a break. Yeah. Um, but right. before we do, I wonder if we should uh, not before we do, but as we do, uh, to let this marinate. I think we might want to rewrite your first belief too. Uh, Pap won't be abandoned because of duty. He may for love. I'll get Varys to aid me. I mean, if you're thinking about not leaving, then that belief might be done. Yeah. No, I'm I'm surprised how much uh, the Duchess convincing me to stay here really turned me around. And I mean, the idea of staying here, yeah, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Um, so I'm gonna go make some tea and stretch and I'm gonna think on what to change that to. Cause I think, um, I think that there's still, yeah, something around there. I don't know if I, if I change it to be another belief about Varus or if I um, try and find out about Nara cause that whole, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool. Excellent. I love that you're going to stretch. That's awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to get into a downward dog in honor of your stretching. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. We'll see you friends in, in a couple minutes. Bye.